Apparently, Face Banks cheated on Alyssa Violet. I don't know the truth. I know nothing about it. I know they broke up. And we're about to find out exactly in detail what happened. Well, at least I don't feel like shit, but I sound like shit. So I'm sorry for my voice. I don't know what happened. I thought I was getting over the, the symptoms that I had with whatever the fuck I had. I don't know, I was sick for a week. Still coughing like a horse. Do horses cough? I don't know, but I'm coughing. And my voice sounds like a man. And I almost lost it earlier today at work, but I still have it. So I might as well make a video because I don't know if I'm gonna lose it tomorrow. So I wanna know what happened between Alyssa Violet and Faze Banks. I didn't even know they broke up. That's how far behind in the drama I'm at right now, okay? I just found out maybe like two weeks ago that they broke up. I think they've been broken up for months now. I haven't heard anything about why they broke up. Now there's, I guess, tweets or something. I don't know, I don't got Twitter. But Drama Alert talks about it and we're gonna watch what happened between the two. So let's go ahead and be nosy. I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's go right into the news! Face Banks has cheated on Alyssa Violet. But before we get into that story, actually, you know what? I'm gonna... This is interesting because I know Keemstar is friends with Face Banks. So it's pretty interesting to have someone on YouTube talk about your relationship tr troubles and issues and drama and putting your shit on blast. I don't know, I wouldn't consider that person a friend. Right into that story because I trust you're gonna watch this full video to hear about what happened yesterday when I launched Keep Cosmetics because that story's insane, but first, Banks, how could you? Now, as you all know, Banks and Alyssa Violet have been dating forever and while well, recently they broke up, but new details came out about uh, the relationship that were shocking. First of all, I wanna say, I thought they were cute together. When Alyssa broke up with Jake Paul, I didn't know Jake Paul until after their breakup, so I don't know how they were together. But there was accusations of physical abuse and so on and so forth. We all don't know the truth. But them two together, I don't know, I thought they were cute. You can tell Faze really liked her a lot. So I don't know, if he cheated on her, it's kind of, it's not that it's hard to believe because guys tend to fuck up a lot, even if they love someone. Don't know why. Sometimes I feel like it's just natural. It's nature for men to do that. Tweeted at Alyssa saying, how did you find out you were being cheated on? Alyssa responded by saying, I was asleep upstairs with our dogs and he wasn't next to me. So I checked on our guest house and caught him naked in bed with a random girl. No. Nuh-uh. Nah, -uh, there's no fucking way. That, that brave, that's the type of bravery he has is to fuck someone else in the guest house, not even in a hotel, not in a car, not on the streets, away from your girl, but right in the guest house. That is crazy. Oh, oh, no. Damn. Banks responded by saying this. He simply tweeted out, I love you. But that's when Alyssa responded to that tweet showing a screen grab of text conversation. <coughs> oh shit. Where she has renamed Banks in her phone as Scumbag. Scumbag. <laughs> Banks text her, dude, why? I Have y'all done that before? Like an ex or someone you can't stand, but they still are contacting you? Might as well change their name to something like, well, I ain't gonna say it, but my wife has someone else down as dick, okay? But it's funny. What the hell, Liz? This ain't cool. Alyssa responded by saying, I love you. Did you love me when you were hooking up with a random whore in our home? Did you love me when you Snapchatted that girl in Vegas to come F you when I was at dinner with you? Banks responded by saying, dude, what the F is this? I always kept my promises. Damn, so this shit is true. This is like real. 
he really did fuck that girl in the guest house. Because he's not denying it in this message. He said, I always kept my promises. That means they both promised not to talk about why they broke up. But Alyssa, I think, is moving on. And she's at that point where she's like, fuck him. I don't owe his ass loyalty no more. She would have put his ass on blast. Fuck it. He's the, he's the one that fucked up. Why not? Don't get mad at her. You fucked up, remember? Alyssa responded by saying, did you love me when I was in Orlando for my cousin's wedding and you hooked up with a girl in our bed? Oh, M G. Three times? He cheated on her three times? Oh, my God. It didn't stop there, That's though, because Alyssa kept going. She kept going and going like the Energizer buddy. She said, did you love me when I've been asking you for five months to help out with our dogs and you told me to ship them to my parents in Ohio because it was too much for you? Banks responded by saying, I couldn't take care of them and I wanted them to have a good life. Why are you doing this online? Damn, Alyssa, this is real dude, shit. Stop there. Alyssa said, did you love me when you text that girl that you were on your way to her hotel room at 6 a.m. Oh. to get weird while I was sleeping next to you? Did you A fourth cheating? That's cheating. That's emotional cheating to me. I don't care if you even got to meet up with the girl or not. That's cheating. Four times? God damn. On me when you said you were at the highlight room, but I had your location and you were at a random apartment complex for two hours? Did you love Five times? <laughs> me when you broke eight of my phones? Did you love me when- Ah, uh, phones are replaceable. Smash the back of Chantel's window of her car that she gave me? Unbelievable. Now at this point- Okay, I know I'm stopping this video a lot, but I'm so confused. What's making her lash out right now? What's making her tell all the business? That is ridiculous. Something must have happened. She must have found out something. This is what I think. I think he was talking shit about her behind her back to mutual friends. It got back to her and she's like, oh, really? Really? You're going to be talking shit? And I'm over here still being loyal to your ass and not telling the world what the fuck you did? Fuck you. I'm gonna let it all out. Alyssa Violet started <laughs> trending all over Twitter. One fan Damn. responded to Banks saying, I wanna believe Alyssa, but you don't seem the type to cheat. I, I didn't think so neither. Side. You treated her like a queen, bought her a car, designed her stuff and a dog. Like, I don't know what dumb person would do that and then cheat. Please come out with your side. Come because some guys can't keep their dick in their pants. That's why. That's why. They will still love the main girl. They will still give them everything that they want okay and need but some guys still have their needs they, they they still gotta like fuck around Alyssa Violet responded to this tweet saying would you like the video of me walking in on him and her oh lord video no. oh lord no. I want to see no. just now, blur out the private point, parts some hours went by like 10 hours or something and Banks came out with a statement yesterday trying to like give his point of view, and uh, he said this. He posted a statement titled, Alyssa. The oh, statement shit. goes on to say, I could spend the next few minutes listing all the horrible things Alyssa has done to me, and why it didn't work, and why I did what I did. Obviously, there's two sides to every story, and neither of us have been perfect. Rather than continuing to all of that, I'm going to do the right thing and take responsibility for where I've gone wrong in this. Alyssa and I have been having issues and I did something really stupid and hurtful. There's an additional context and it's not as simple of who's right and who's wrong. It doesn't matter at this point. Mm -hmm. What matters is that we're both humans and we both definitely mm -hmm. hurt each other. We've I been agree. broken up for six months now and this incident happened almost a full year ago. It's haunted both of us for a long time. We all mess up, that's human. What that girl and I shared was something special. One in a billion special. How is it special if you're fucking around like with six separate times that we know of already? How is that special? Boy, if you don't. And it's true though, I'm pretty sure Alyssa did some fucked up things too. I'm pretty sure she did. They were together I think for two years. You're gonna, you're gonna mess up in some way. Like, you're gonna hurt the other person in some way. If it's with your words, if it's with cheating, if it's with disloyalty, it's, if it's with disrespect, you're gonna hurt your partner. That's just how it goes. But cheating is a whole different level, especially the way he's doing it. 
It, it just seemed that you really didn't care. You, you cheated on her on their bed, on your bed, in the guest room, texting other girls while you're laying next to her. That, that's something else. That ain't special. Something that I didn't expect to share with another human as long as I'm alive. We had issues. We couldn't fix them. We were miserable together for a while and couldn't ever let each other go. I think I speak for both of us when I say the love was and always will be a very real thing. Which is why I refuse to let our very intimate private relationship become a spectacle online. It's heartbreaking. Social media really isn't the place. I wasn't expecting this because we've always both been very much on the same page about making sure we have a line drawn in the sand about what we share with our audiences. <laughs> Kim is so funny, the music he has in the background. <laughs> Again, I can see she's hurt, and I understand where she's coming from. Liz, if you're reading this, I love you. It hurts me a lot that you're hurt, but I promise hurting me won't make you feel better. That's true. I wish every day that it could have been different. I will never ever not love you and will always be here. I truly wish the best for you. I won't ever say a bad word about her. So sorry for everyone who wanted to sip some tea. You won't find that here. I'm sorry. I love you all. Wow. Okay. So this is the part. He took the higher route. I'm not gonna lie. He took the higher route. He still respected her. He still says he loves her. He understands why she's doing it. And he's he's messed up as a human being. And she's messed up as well. But, eh, you know, he's being grown about it. I defend Banks fully, right? I mean, like, dude, guys, ever since this came out on Twitter uh, a couple nights ago, you guys have been spamming me that, oh, I'm drama alert, Keemstar's gonna defend Banks, and blah, 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 and I'm gonna be biased, because Banks my Listen, Alyssa is also my friend. Love that girl. Oh, She's that's cool. cool. Okay. Uh, okay. At the end of the day, here's the truth, okay? These two were madly in love with each other. I believe when that. When I say madly in love, I'm talking about the crazy love. I believe you know the that. relationships where these two people like love each other so much that they're fighting all day, but they refuse to separate. I mean, dude, it was bad, it was toxic, and it was intense, crazy love. That's the only way you could explain it. In so many ways, these two were made for each other. And in so many ways, these two should never have been together. Like, it's just, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Rice Gum responded to this drama by posting this on the gram yesterday. Rice Gum. <laughs> Hold on. <coughs> Why are you involving yourself in your friend's relationship problems? Why, and Kim too. What kind of friends are they, yo? Times were simpler. Hashtag throwback. So there you have it. Also in the nose, Ninja. It can, actually, before we get into that, first, I just want to say, slick rap set. Okay, let me make sure if that was it with that drama because I don't want to hear nothing else about anything else. Yep, that was it. That's interesting. I, I man, that sucks. I really thought they loved each other, which I'm sure they did, but he just can't keep his pee pee in his pants. He just can't do it. He's not ready for a, a serious relationship. As for her, she needs to stop all that drama shit. Every time she breaks up with her ex-boyfriends, she goes crazy on the internet. Let that shit go. It's the past. Move forward. The past is meant to be the past. They're exes for a fucking reason. They're just gonna keep fucking up if you keep taking them back. Move on. All right, let me know what you thought about this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please turn on the bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.